over the span of my life. I've had 13 foster siblings, and so their stories of hardship have really changed my heart. But one in particular is when I was in second grade and I witnessed a boy being teased about his hygiene and clothes. And so I went home that day and I was like, Mom, Dad, like, I saw this at school today and like I remember it being like so heavy on my heart that had never happened. I've never realized that before that like kids are being bullied for their hygiene and clothes. I think it was about two to three weeks later, uh, both him and his sister became my foster siblings. And so that's just where it all started. As I was going through many iterations of like how I could best help these students, I met up with my former elementary school principal and we were kind of just talking through like what I could help with. So like we had like many different ideas. And we came up with an idea that was sustainable and helpful. We finally ended up creating a closet for these kids to come and get basic necessities. So Hannah's Helpful Hands started when I was 13 years old and its mission is to help kids get basic necessities through their elementary schools. One thing that's really important, especially for kids, is that it's anonymous. I don't want them to feel like just embarrassed in general. So if a staff would see that uh, a student would need shoes or something, they would just send them up to the office and they just grab a gift card for shoes and then they're on their way, they can go buy some shoes. And whether they know it or not, like that helps boost their confidence. And then when they have confidence, what I learned through the, my foster siblings is that then they excel in school and they do so much better just every day because they feel good about themselves. And so that's what I wanted to really help these kids with. The amazing thing about Hannah's Helpful Hands is that she would love to inspire other kids to do the same thing because it doesn't take great resources, it doesn't take great talent, it just takes a great heart. It just is required to go out and care about others and see what you can do, see the need that you can fill. And, uh, and so Hannah's done that, and it's been very successful. First it started off with just like family and friends helping me, but then now it's my GoFundMe, and that's how I get all the clothes and stuff. We came up with the toiletry bags and the laundry bags because that's what a lot of families need. Not just the kids themselves, but they need laundry bags for their families. And so there's like little quarters in there and um, laundry detergent and dryer sheets. And in the toiletry bags, there's like toothbrushes, toothpaste, brushes, rags, and like body wash and stuff like that. Hannah was nominated and applied for the Prudential Spirit Awards. She was honored to be chosen as one of the two California recipients. They took her to Washington, D.C., and that was very exciting. And then when she was there, um, she was chosen as one of the, the top 10 award recipients and received $10,000 for her charity. And so that was substantial seed money to get everything going. Even, you know, long before she actually created this charity, she talked about wanting to help kids. Mom, how can I help other kids? You know, to see her try so hard, to see her love people so well, to see her, you know, make this an important part of her life. I'm so proud, I'm so glad, I'm just so blessed. You know, it's been very important for us to give back, to show the love of God um, to people all around us. Now it's like, something so amazing that I could have never done on my own. Like, God had just been so good to me, so the goal is to keep it running, keep it going, and to ultimately just help more kids. Setting an example of like, this is how to give back to your community, this is how to help people, and this is how to just like, simply be kind to others with a heart posture that is ready to give, like no matter the cost.